Lord, don't let me live the same way I came. Touch me with your love. Jesus, oh, please don't let me go. The same way I came, fill me with your power. Jesus, please don't let us go. The same way we came, touch us with your anointing. Jesus, Lord, please don't let us go. The same way we came, fill us with your wisdom. Jesus, welcome to Hotline to Heaven, precious and beloved sons and daughters of God. Yes, this has got to be our heart's cry because there is no way we should leave the same way we came when the person before whom we've come is the majesty on high, the great and almighty God. He says in his presence, there are pleasures forevermore. At his right hand, all manner of benefits and blessings. Oh, glory be to his name. So just sing with me, Lord, don't let me leave the same way I came. Touch me with your love, Jesus. Yes, Lord, don't let me leave the same way I came. Touch me with your love. Touch me with your love, Jesus. Please don't let me leave. The same way I came, fill me with your power. Fill me with your power. Jesus, please don't let me leave. The same way I came, fill me with your anointing. Fill me with your anointing. Jesus, oh Lord, don't let me go. The same way I came, fill me with your wisdom. Fill me with your wisdom. Jesus, why? Because Jesus, you are here. Father, you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here. You are here for us. Oh, Jesus, you are here. Father, you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here. You are here for me. Precious Jesus, you are here. Our Redeemer, you are here. Bread of life, you are here. You are here for us. Heavenly Father, you are here. Yahweh, you are here. Elohim, you are here. You are here for me. Spirit of God, you are here. Living waters, you are here. Consuming fire, you are here. You are here for me all over this hotline call him what he is to you and declare yes with confidence and living hope that he gives you by his spirit and that faith that his holy spirit continually ministers to us that he is indeed here. That is why we will not leave the same way we came. Yes, sing, Jesus, you are here. Call him by what he is to you, what you have personally experienced him to be to you. My savior, you are here. My master, you are here. Great redeemer, you are here. You are here for me my bread of life you are here my keen and firm strength you are here the rock of my heart you are here you are here for me the strength of my heart you are here the lifter of my head you are here divine beautifier you are here you are here 
for me lifter of my head oh you are here my true companion you are here my consolation you are here you are here for me my vindication you are here my deliverer you are here my provider you are here you are here for me the light of my countenance you are here my healer you are here my peace you are here you are here for me the lord that carries me you are here the lord that helps me you are here my reviver you are here you are here for me quickening spirit oh you are here the lord my wisdom you are here my only counselor you are here you are here for me the light of my life you are here my holy father you are here holy spirit you are here you are here for me hallelujah hey we worship you jesus for you are everything to us you are all things to us at all times apart from you I am nothing. I have nothing. I've accomplished nothing and I can do nothing. It's in you I live. It's in you I move. It's in you that I have my being. You're the reason for my being. You're the source of my life. You're the divine motivation behind every action. You power and you energize my life with your Holy Spirit. You you are here, Holy Spirit, you are here, Spirit of God, you are here, you are here for us. Yes, pray with me and say, Father, you have promised those who seek you will find you when they seek you with all their hearts. As the deer pants after the water brooks, that is how my soul longs and thirsts and yearns for you, O oh Lord. And that is why I'm on this hotline, Lord. Fill me afresh with your wisdom and your power. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, pray that as you embark on this day, as you go through this day, you cannot depend on the wisdom of yesterday or yes, or last month or last week. Yes, that's why he says, Jesus said we should pray. When his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. He said, pray, give me this day my daily bread. Give me the wisdom I need for this day. Infuse within me the power that I need for this day. Yes, pray. You want everything, everything you do to be powered by his Holy Spirit, to be energized by his Holy Spirit and not your own human energy or human power because you want God's results. You want God's results in your workplace. You want God's results in every conversation you have. You want God's results in the endeavors of your hands. So yes, pray. You want every deliberation of your heart and every decision that you take to be informed and guided by Holy Spirit. So pray. Fill me afresh with your wisdom, O God. For you said, if I lack wisdom, I shall ask, and you will lavish me with it. You will give it to me generously. That is the God you are, without chastising me or abrading me. So Father, fill me afresh with your wisdom. Cause your wisdom, O Lord, to flood the channels of my heart. In Jesus' name, and quicken afresh your power within me for every work before me today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, listen closely to this. Listen closely. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. This is what it says. 
Jeremiah 10, 23. Oh Lord, I know that the path of life of a man is not in himself. It is not within the limited ability of man. Even one at his best, listen to that, even one at his best to choose and direct his steps in life. I want to read that again. Jeremiah 10, 23. Oh Lord, I know that the path of life of a man, and you can insert your name there, is not in himself. It is not within the limited ability of man, even one at his best, to choose and direct his steps in life. Let that sink in as I read Psalm 37, verse 23. Psalm 37, verse 23. Kashata Sakamba Makanda. The steps of a good man and a righteous man are directed and established by the Lord. And he, the Lord, delights in his way and blesses his path. For those of you on this hotline who are crying out to the Lord day and night to receive the blessing of the fruit of the womb, listen to me. It is the Lord's good pleasure to give it to you. For he said in his word, go forth and be fruitful and dominate this earth. He said he has set you as a fruitful vine in the sides of his home. He said there shall be none barren in the camp of the Lord, even amongst the livestock. Even amongst the livestock, he cares about the fruitfulness of the animals. How much more you, the apple of his eye, made after his image and his likeness. The beneficiary of his divine benevolence and his goodwill and his favor. It is the will of God that you be fruitful. It is the will of God that you be fruitful. And right now, by the anointing of God on this hotline, and in agreement with his word, and by the divine mandate of God's word, I command, Asha, Tasa, Kaka, Kanga, Kanga, Nata, Kanda, I command right now that you be strategically by the everlasting hands of God situated and installed in the pathway that the Lord has already commanded his blessing of fruitfulness upon. Yes, I release you by God's everlasting hands into the pathway of fruitfulness that the Lord has already blessed for you. Ah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray with me and say all over this hotline, Heavenly Father, I know that it does not lie in my human and limited ability, even at my best, to direct and establish my own steps and get your divine results. Father, I'm the daughter of your household, the sheep of your pasture and the apple of your eye. Choose and direct my steps throughout today and establish my ways in good success. For my trust is in you alone, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Pray for yourself for this day and specifically commit whatsoever you know is coming up in your life or the life of your child or your spouse unto the Lord. Yes, pray. Father, I know it doesn't lie in my own human ability or my own limited ability because I'm finite. Because I'm human, I'm finite and I'm limited. It doesn't lie in me, even at my very best, at my strongest, at my wisest, to direct and establish my own steps and get your results. No, Father, I'm your daughter, the sheep of your pasture and the apple of your eye. I'm your son, the son of your household. Choose, oh God, and direct my steps. Yes, and establish my ways in good success. For my trust is in you, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Yes, pray. 
that the Lord will choose and direct your steps. Talk to him about that thing that lies ahead of you, that endeavor that you're planning, that you're going to be engaged in. Are you in business? Pray that in the meetings that you're going to hold, do you have an important meeting with vendors or whoever? Are you going to employ someone new in your establishment? Pray. Is there all sorts of of evil work going on in your business and you don't really know how to get your hands around it and to put out those fires that want to consume your business, those evil fires. Ah, pray, pray, yes. Those evil fires may be in any area of your life. So pray, Father, direct my steps, establish my steps according to what you have already laid out for me concerning so, so, and so. Choose and direct my steps today and establish my ways in good success in this area concerning this matter, concerning my business, concerning this endeavor, concerning this meeting I'm going to have. Because my trust is in you alone. I'm not trusting in my own human capacity or competence or ability because I am human. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now let us continue to pray and say with me, according to Psalm 37 verse 23, O Lord, you have commanded your blessing upon the path I should take and you watch over that path with delight. By your hand upon my head, lead me, my father. Direct me and establish and make my feet firm in that path you have chosen for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now continue to pray that prayer and be specific about anything that you're engaged in or that lies before you as the Spirit of the Lord brings it to your remembrance and pray. It could be a choice of jobs. Maybe you have a number of job proposals. Maybe it's a decision that you have to make concerning your family life. Maybe your husband and yourself or your wife and yourself are in the throes of a very important decision that will have a very great impact on your family. It could be a business venture that you're engaged in or a school choice for your child. There is a path. There is a path. As the book of Psalm 37 verse 23 says, where the Lord's blessing is upon and where he delights upon. So pray, Father, that path where you have commanded your blessing, where you have commanded your favor, where you have commanded, oh God, your power lead me, establish me and make my feet firm on that path. That is the path that I desire concerning the choice of a school for my child. Because you know what is best. You know what is right. Those of you whose children are seniors in high school or they're in eighth grade and are getting ready to go to high school. Ah, or they're in fifth grade and getting ready to go to middle school. Pray for them. Pray that the Lord will guide and order your steps. Ah, and ensure that your child's foot is established and planted firmly on the path where God's blessing lies for them concerning the school they should go to. Don't just decide based on, oh, this is the school that my child should go to anyway because it's, um, it's in my neighborhood. It just might not be. If the Spirit of the Lord has been ministering to you, you know what? Look outside this neighborhood. Look outside this place. Obey Him. Obey Him. He will lead you and guide you on the path wherein He's commanded His favor, His blessing, and His power. And He will honor your obedience. So pray. Do you have to go for a procedure or a surgery 
and you've sought a second opinion or even a third opinion after the second opinion and you're getting divergent um, opinions, the opinions don't line up and you don't know, should I do this procedure or not? Should I go through this surgery or not? Should I engage in this treatment or not? Father, lead me, establish my feet and plant my feet on the path where you have commanded your blessing for my life. Wherein, oh God, lies your power and cause me, daddy, order and direct my steps by your hand upon my head. For has your word not told me in Psalm 139 verse 5, that you hem me in and you surround me before and behind and you lay your hand upon me to order and direct my steps. Order my steps, direct my steps on the path that you have commanded your blessing upon, Lord. For I do not want to go and do anything or make any decision or embark on any pathway that you have not sanctioned for me or approved of in heaven. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes. Continue to pray that prayer. Ah, Rakabana Shinga. Oh, Lord Jesus, you have already commanded your blessing. Yes, pray with me. Lord Jesus, you have already commanded your blessing. You've already commanded your power and your favor on the path that you have chosen for me. It is a path that you delight in. Lead me, guide me, and establish my steps on that path. That you have chosen for me. For therein lies my good success, my prosperity, my security, and my peace. In Jesus' name I pray. Do you have events coming up? Does your church have events coming up? Ah, and you're planning and preparing for it and you're caught up in the throes of it. Or maybe it's coming up way, way, way later in the year. It's never too early to start praying. Store up your prayers if it's coming later in the year. Or if it's coming up very soon, pray and talk to the Lord specifically about what it is. Is it a baby shower for your daughter? <clears throat> is it a wedding that is coming up? Is your ministry planning um, different activities? Pray, Father, there is a pathway that you have prepared already for us to walk upon as we plan and as we prepare so that we may experience, oh Lord, your glory and your power. Father, establish my ministry. Establish my feet as I plan, as I prepare for so and so event, as my daughter plans and prepares for so and so event. On the pathway wherein you have commanded your blessing, your favor and your power so that I may experience your glory in this event. So my ministry may experience your glory and your power in this event, oh God, so that I'm experiencing your peace in this as I plan and as I prepare in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here. Counselor, you are here. You are here for me. Great Shepherd, you are here. My Guardian, you are here. Guide of my life, you are here. You are here for us. Jesus, you are here. Holy Father, you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here. You are here for me. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory be to Jesus on high. Saints of God, our Lord is good to us and he is worthy to be praised. His name be praised forevermore. Ah, shata seke kaka kanga na shikenda seke baba. Pa sarara kamba na shikemba na seke baba kanda stihike bana shinga. Now I want you to pray. We started this prayer about two days ago, I think, or thereabouts, two or three days ago, because this has been on, in my spirit for a while, and I want us to pray. I want us to pray about it. 
because uh, many of us are carrying this burden and it's the burden of debt, the heavy weight of debt. There is nothing that is too hard for our God. He is able to bring you out of every pit of debt. Nothing is too difficult for him. He is able to and he desires to lead us and to guide us out of indebtedness. He is able to strategically position you or to strategically position your business to be greatly favored with enough to pay off your debts. He is able to cause men to bless you. So as we pray this prayer, don't allow yourself to be bogged down by how on earth is this going to happen, considering my circumstances. Look not at what you see or may be experiencing or what you have, but as the Bible says, look to what is not seen, the eternal word of God, which lives and abides forever, that is active in our life, that is operative in our life, that is energizing to quicken and cause all things human and and not inanimate and animate to come together and contribute to each other to work for us and on our behalf to turn things around for us hallelujah and so all over this hotline i want you to pray and say with me my father in heaven according to your word in Psalm 31, verse 2 to 3. My rock of refuge, for your name's sake and for your honor's sake, draw me out of this pit of financial distress and debt. For you alone are strong enough to help me, O Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, pray. Pray for yourself. Father, draw me out. Draw me out of this pit of financial distress. For your name's sake. For the honor of your holy name by which I am called. Because I am beloved of you. And you have promised me, O oh God, that you crown me with honor, with favor, and with goodness. And you will deliver me. And no good thing will you withhold from me. Arise, O oh God, <coughs> and draw me out of this pit of debt. For you alone are strong enough to help me. Draw my business out of this pit of debt. And cancel this debt that I owe. Yes, talk to the Lord about that debt that you owe. Is it a student? Is it your student loan? Is it your car loan? Is it your house? Yes, your house. The Lord loves those who open their mouth wide, who believe him for big things. Because you may say, ah, my house, do you know how much my house costs? Yes, your house. Believe him for it. He said, is there anything too hard or too difficult for me? Just as Mary said, when they told her that she would be with child, and she said, uh-uh, but I'm a virgin. How on earth can these things be? Virgins don't take in. Virgins do not conceive. And the angel of the Lord that appeared to her said, look, this is how it's going to happen. The spirit of the most high shall come upon you and his glory will overshadow you. And that holy then Jesus Christ himself will be conceived within you. So pray, Holy Spirit, rest upon my life. Overshadow my life with your glory. And quicken in my life that which will bring me out of this indebtedness. For with you, all things are possible. Yes, pray. Talk to the Lord about that debt. It may be a debt that is literally strangling your son or your daughter, your husband or your wife. Pray. Lead me, O Lord, and guide me. Show me how to get rid of this debt. For you are my exceedingly great reward. You are my portion in this land of the living. In Jesus' name, yes, pray. Pray, dear saints of God, pray. Ah, pray. 
Ah, shata saka baba kama na shinga baba kama na shinga mianta stororo kobianta stororo kobianta. Papa pa kama da shike ba na hanga pray. Lead me, Lord. Guide me. For there is a pathway that the Lord has prepared for you to get out of debt. Just like the wife of the son of the prophet who cried out, out of agony of soul to Elisha the prophet because her creditors were going to come and take away her sons for them to go into hard labor as slaves to pay off the debt that her she and her family had been plunged into because her husband died and left them in penury, left them in abject poverty. So pray, pray. Father, there is a path wherein you've commanded your favor and your blessing and your power upon to lead me, to lead my husband, to lead my business, to lead my child out of this debt, oh God. Because you're the Lord, the God of all flesh. The cattle on a thousand hills and the hills themselves belong to you. You've promised me that you'll give Give me the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. You have promised me that you will cause the forces of the Gentiles to flow into my life. Father, fulfill this word in my life, oh God. Cause me, cause my brethren, my brothers and sisters on this hotline, cause their businesses, oh God, to eat the fruit of this word of debt cancellation, of deliverance from debt, of drawing out from the pit of financial distress and debt. For you, O oh God, are able to help us. For with you, nothing is impossible. In Jesus' name, I pray. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be to Jesus. And now as we continue to pray, I want us to Take time after Hotline to Heaven to go to hotlinetoheaven.org or if you haven't downloaded the app, I urge you to download the app. It is so convenient so that you won't have to dial in to listen to the prayers. All you need to do is just press it and you will be able to follow the prayers and go there and so into the ground of this great work that the Lord is doing by his spirit on hotline to heaven. Yes, let us sow a seed, especially as we pray this prayer in the ground of hotline to heaven and join with the Holy Spirit to impact and touch the countless lives that have been impacted and touched through hotline to heaven. Yes, do you know that over 300 Actually, I believe it's over 400, but just so I don't exaggerate, I'm being conservative when I say over 300,000 people have logged into Hotline to Heaven since we started a few years ago. Think about that. Over 300,000 souls have been touched, have been impacted, have been transformed, have been delivered, and hey! Glory be to Jesus, have been saved. So when you sow in the ground of hotline to heaven, you're sowing in good ground. You're sowing in a worthy cause. And there is no way you will not eat the fruit of your obedience to God. And so as you follow the Holy Spirit's leading and in your mind's eye, you envision what you're going to give. Pray with me. And say, Father, as I plant this seed in the ground of hotline to heaven, connect me, O oh Lord. Connect my business, O oh Lord, to my person of purpose, to my destiny helper, the one you have specially anointed, that you have prepared, and you have appointed and ahead of time to favor me, to bless me and to get me and my business out of this burden of debt. If you're a minister or a pastor on this hotline, pray for your ministry. Father, connect me, connect my ministry, connect my business, connect my wife, connect my child. Oh Lord, to the person of purpose, to that destiny helper, to the one 
It may be the least expected and the most unlikely person that you have prepared, you have anointed and appointed ahead of time to favor me, to favor my loved ones, to bless me and to get me out of this burden of debt. For you are the Lord, the God of all flesh. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory, glory, glory be to our God forevermore. Ah, hallelujah. By the hands of Jehovah, his everlasting hands that is underneath you, he will cause you to be strategically placed and positioned on that pathway where he has commanded his blessing, where he has commanded his favor. Ah, and he will cause all things to work together, contributing to each other, to favor you and to bring you out of the pit of debt. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jehovah. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And now, if you know that you have not accepted Jesus Christ into your life as your savior. You know that you are not saved. God loves you and has everlasting life available for you, my brother or sister. Choose Jesus Christ today as your savior, as the one that, the, that God, your heavenly father gave to pay the price for your sins so that you will not have to pay it in hell through all eternity. For the wages of sin is death, not just physical death, but death eternally in hell fire forever. But God does not desire that any soul perish. That is why he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So pray with me as you choose Jesus Christ today to be the savior of your life and say, Heavenly Father, I come to you right now admitting that I am a sinner. I choose to turn away from sin. And I ask you to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I believe that your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross to take away my sins. I also believe that he rose again from the dead so that I may be justified and made righteous through faith in him. I call upon the name of Jesus Christ to be the Savior and the Lord of my life. Jesus, I choose to follow you. And I ask that you fill me with, a, with your Holy Spirit right now. Thank you for filling me with Holy Spirit. And I declare that I am born again. I am free from sin and full of the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. I am saved in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer to choose Jesus Christ as your Savior, congratulations and welcome to the household of God and to the family of God. We will so love to hear from you. Go to hotlinetoheaven.org and send us an email and let us know of this decision to follow Jesus Christ. And if you live in the Los Angeles area, we would so love to meet with you and celebrate what God has done in your life. You can contact us or get our contact address when you go to hotlinetoheaven.org. We rejoice with you and all of heaven rejoices with you and celebrates you right now at this victorious new life with Jesus Christ that you have received. Congratulations. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. I'm so excited. I'm always excited when I pray this prayer to become saved. Because even if it's just one soul that prays that prayer and is saved. Ah, 
It is worth it all. Glory be to Jesus. And now bring out your Holy Communion as I pray over the Holy Communion elements. All over this hotline, bring out your Holy Communion. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to his holy name. Father, as I lay my hands upon this Holy Communion as an extension of your everlasting hands, I command your blessing. I command your power and your favor to rest upon this Holy Communion. And I release that yoke-breaking power to rest upon and to infuse the Holy Communion elements that this Holy Communion is being used as a point of contact for all over this hotline. In Jesus' name, amen. And now pray, dear saints of God, and say with me, My Father in heaven, as I take this holy communion, O oh, covenant-keeping God, remember the covenant of health that I have with you that has been sealed for me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now take that Holy Communion. And say with me, all over this hotline. Every disease condition. Every evil affliction. Every, hey, wicked condition, by whatever name it is named, that has been programmed by the forces of darkness to afflict me in a particular season, at a particular time or period this year. Father, Deprogram it. Deprogram it in the name of Jesus Christ and overthrow it, undo it, and completely destroy it from its source. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, pray. Pray, for there are times where every single year at a, at a particular time of the year, you come down with a particular condition. That is diabolical programming. Or the enemy may have programmed that at so and so time, maybe there's something great, something joyous, something that you're looking forward to that lies ahead. And the forces of darkness are programming that at that time, just before that time, you will come down with so and so condition. You will be afflicted by so and so condition. The devil is a liar. Pray, Father, by the power of your Holy Ghost and your anointing that has been released into my body by reason of this Holy Communion that I have taken. Break every yoke of wicked programming of any affliction of or disease that the forces of darkness have programmed to afflict me in a particular season, at a particular time or period, this year, in Jesus' name. Yes, pray. I rescue myself. I rescue my husband. I rescue my sons. I rescue my daughter. From every bodily work of darkness, from every work of death, every activity of death, every evil affliction that the forces of darkness <coughs> are programming into my life <coughs> at any particular season <coughs> or time or period <coughs> to afflict me, to terrorize me, or to resist me. <coughs> In Jesus' name, amen. 
<coughs> yes, saints of God, continue to pray. Pray for yourself. The devil is a liar. Pray. Whatever has been programmed to diminish you, to hold you down, to hold you back and prevent you from being a part of or a partaker of anything of joy, any celebration of joy, any great thing that lies ahead that the Lord has waiting for you. <coughs> that he has completed and finished for you. Pray, pray, Father, arise <coughs> by your anointing on this hotline and your power that works mightily within me. Deprogram every such diabolical programming. Deprogram it, O oh God, and destroy it from its source and from its roots. In the name of Jesus Christ and by your victorious right hand and your power at work in my life, in the life of my wife, my husband, my children, we rescue ourselves. I rescue myself from every diabolical programming by the forces of darkness to afflict my body, to harass my body, to terrorize my body. In Jesus name. Amen. Ah, Rakasa Kababaka, you will go through your seasons of joy. You will go through your seasons of celebration in the course of this year, in strength, in health, and in vigor. For the Lord, by his anointing, working mightily within you, and that is present in our midst, has broken and destroyed every yoke of diabolical programming by the forces of darkness to afflict you in your moment, in your time, in your season, and in your period of joy and celebration. In Jesus' name, go forth covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, secured <coughs> spirit, soul, and body from every fiery dart from the bowels of hell sent to set your life ablaze with the fires of accidents or vehicular violence or go, uh, drive by shooting or any kind of wickedness directed against you your child your seed or your spouse for in Christ Jesus you win you win always hallelujah glory be to your name oh lord Ah, glory. <laughs>